Get it, Oz, get it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. All right, I wanted to introduce you guys to a new project that we're going to be working on. It's a 1970 Chevy C10 pickup. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I figured I'd give you a little bit about what I know and don't know about this truck. Um, so this truck, uh, uh, they, they claim that it ran, um, but it, it obviously doesn't. Um, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I mean, there's, there's some issues going on. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out uh, what's going on with it and get it running. So let's take a walk around it and uh, check it out. Um, it's a pretty cool old truck and I'm looking forward to uh, digging into it. Alright, let's take a walk all the way around it. I mean, it's a pretty straight old truck. You know, it's obviously got a few blemishes here or there, but, uh, you know, it's a 1970, so... It's an AC truck, manual transmission, I'm guessing it's a four speed. I got the uh, air cleaner here. There's not a lot of rust in it. It's a pretty nice truck. Rocker's got just a little bit, but I don't, you practically can't avoid that. It's definitely the original color. It's still got all the original markings on the firewall. Looks like it's got a new coil and a rebuilt carb. Somebody put a new fuel filter on it. There's a little can of gas going right there. Uh, somebody's got a battery in it. A new one. So. So this was a AC truck. It's got air conditioning. This is interesting. Air conditioning, manual brakes, manual steering. No power steering in this truck either. Looks like it's got a new distributor cap on it. Do we dare take a whiff? I'll be honest, not the worst I've smelled. It smells a little more like gas than varnish. Shows 6,723. I'm guessing that's rolled over. We got a little uh, collection of bugs going on. I'd sell those if anybody's got a collection and they need some of those.
Yeah, it looks like it's from Oklahoma. Remember that old girl that we pulled out of the pasture a while back? Alright, so I guess we should probably get working on it rather than just walk around looking at it. It's probably not going to start running if we just look at it. Something I figured I'd point out to you guys if you didn't know. Um, you know, so originally these were R12 systems. And one of the ways that you can tell like that this is still an R12 condenser, if you look at those tubes, they're actually tubes that come out and, uh, you know, then turn and go back into the condenser. So if they've got those big tubes like that, they're still R12 condensers. This uh, dryer's got the sight glass on the top. So anyway, just a little nugget of information for you. All right, guys, we got the Suburban off the trailer and uh, pushed back into a spot. Let's take a look at it. So this Suburban used to be a, uh, a fire truck, so to speak. It was like a, you know, a captain's truck or something like that. Uh, you can see they call it a Silverado 20. Now these are interesting wheels. I, I don't know if I've seen these wheels before. I don't know if this was some kind of special package for the, the fire service or what, or if you know somebody just put different wheels on it. Uh, let's, let's walk around it. You can see this whole thing is pretty straight. Uh, the body's really nice on it. All the doors are nice. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of positives to this. It's a little hard to see on this side. The phone pole and cable are in the way. Uh, let's go look under the hood. All right, so this one's got the Fuel Sipper 454 in it. It's a 7.4 liter engine. Hardly uses any fuel at all. The nice thing about this though is everything is here. It's totally complete. Look at the size of that radiator. The thing is huge. I'm sure that's so it can drive around in, you know, all kinds of fire situations and idle for long periods of time. Um, we also talked about the little kit that's on the distributor. So that's kind of interesting. I, I have not seen that before. But from what little I know about it, I guess the deal is, is that so, you know, if there's a gas leak or something like that, there's, you know, the distributor could potentially be sparking internally there and they don't want any, you know, fires. that typical quadrajet looks like all the jack equipment is there all the AC equipment is here so it's nice and complete so all right let's go uh, let's jump inside and see what it looks like in there It's 
kind of a Spartan interior. A little interesting, it's got power locks and roll up windows. Looks like somebody probably recovered the seats at some point. The steering wheel is actually not that bad. A lot of these get really gummy. This thing's got 59,000 miles on it. So check this radio out. It's got the factory C, uh, CB in it. Got the rear AC unit. Look like they pulled one of the seats out for easy access into the back. There's a storage box back there. Yeah, let's go back there and check it out. Nothing in it, just a galvanized box. Looks like there might be a couple jugs of some mystery fluid back there. Eh, let's go back and see what they are. What the heck, huh? I'm gonna try not to kill myself going back here. Ugh. Ah, they're empty. Engine oil. Got the Silverado nameplate on the dash. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the old uh, Suburban fire vehicle. Just a little surface rust, nothing to worry about. So you've got a little moss growing on it. It's not rust, it's actually moss. The fire department number. So if you notice these headlights are all pointing down, let me see if I can get there so you can see it. Um, looks like one of them's in place on that side and one of them's down. Um, what there is, there's a little plastic thing that is, you know, it's got spring-loaded tension against it and what happens is is when the, that plastic is dry and brittle it eventually cracks and just allows the headlight to tilt forward. Um, it's something that's a very easy fix, so that's not a big deal. You just got to get that uh, little plastic part new. Uh, they're readily available, and you can put all the headlights back in the way they should be. All right, that's going to do it for another episode Up and Running. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back next time. We'll keep working on the old Chevy truck. Get it, Oz. Get it. Come on, Oz. Get it, buddy, get it! Get it, come on! Come on, Ozzy, get it! Get it, Ozzy, get it, come on! <laughs> come on, Ozzy! Get the water!
Come on, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, Oz, get it.